Welcome, everyone, to episode 127 of the Greg's World Podcast. This is my weekly audio journal where I sit down and I talk about my week, my life, and things. If you'd like to listen to this as an audio presentation, the links are pinned down below if you'd like to take it with you on the go. And now I'm rhyming things. So welcome, everyone. Hope you had a glorious week. I'm going to pick this episode up right where last week's left off. I mentioned that I was going with my buddy to go see the new Top Gun Maverick movie, and I am happy to report that that movie was amazing. I know a lot of people love Top Gun, especially if you're a little bit of the older crowd that are probably the crowd that's actually listening to this or watching this. And I'm happy to report that this movie, at least in my opinion, is much better than the original Top Gun. I know some of you guys are like, no, Greg, that's a classic. Well, I rewatched Top Gun prior to going to see this movie. And what I took away from it was amazing soundtrack, great visuals with the the flights and the flying and everything. But for me, it was the love story part of it that I just was like, can we just get back to the flying? Can we just go back to like the cool stuff? And this movie Maverick, the new one really felt like that's what they were going for. Like there was a little bit of a love interest happening, but it was like totally on like, let's show these people some awesome jets flying around. And it was, it was amazing. Like I highly recommend the movie. If you guys don't know the backstory and I don't think this is a spoiler by any means, basically Tom Cruise, the original star from top gun, who's Maverick, who's the main character of it. He's commissioned to come back and train a new group of pilots in the top gun training program to, uh, I'll just say eliminate, uh, a threat to the United States and he's like the best of the best pilot and he needs to train these guys and girls on how they can do what he does and the whole movie centers around that and it's just so darn good I will say if you're thinking about going to see it at the movie theater I don't know if I'd recommend that because I just last week I went with my buddy and I paid eleven dollars for a matinee And I know for a fact that this movie within like the next five weeks, if you're listening to this right when it comes out, that movie is going to be on Paramount Plus, which you can get for $10 a month. So if you can wait just like a little over a month, if you just a little bit into the summer, basically when all the summer blockbusters typically come out, just get a month of Paramount Plus or even just get a free trial and rock that movie out and then go watch a bunch of other stuff too because there's a good selection on there. I feel like I, I should be like sponsored by Paramount Plus or I feel like they should like I, I, I almost feel like uh, I, I hype it up too much, but I've been really happy with the selection on there. And I I don't know. I guess another part of this whole conversation too is I worry a little bit about movie theaters in general. Like Eleven dollars to go see that. Like the economics really don't work out, but if you want that experience, if you want to go in there and you want to go into the theater and watch the previews and the lights dim and you have the sound and the giant screen, you know, it's worth it for that. And it may be worth it just to keep the place in business, but I do worry. Like there's gotta be people that are thinking the same way that I am, like, oh man, I'll just wait a few weeks. Like, for example, the new Doctor Strange movie. We're good we were gonna go see it, but we ended up working outside and doing some stuff that day. We were gonna go watch it. It turns out like within the next three weeks, it's going to be on Disney plus. So, you know, you're, you're only missing out on a little bit of time. If you can just wait and then you can watch it on your own accord. You can pause it. If you want to, you can eat your own snacks, have your own drinks. You, you don't have to drive anywhere. You can be like laying on the floor if you want to. I don't know how you watch movies, but yeah, it's, it's this tricky thing. I want movie theaters to exist, but it's, it's not looking good, especially in our area. Like there's nothing in business in our area. Like it's more likely to a place for a place to close down than a place to open by a long shot. And I'll say when we went there last weekend, which was Friday, it was the Friday right before Memorial day. That was probably the busiest I've ever seen that movie theater. And it wasn't busy by any means. Like there might've been like a different couple or, or friends or whatever in each row, but it wasn't like I'm looking for a spot to sit. It was it was not bad, but that was like 12:50 in the afternoon on Friday. Uh, but it was a it was a weekend, it's like a long weekend, I guess. And some people may may not had that day off, but I don't know. We'll just hope that the movie theaters stay in business for that opportunity to go watch these. Uh, but this streaming stuff, I think, based on the convenience and the cost and the economics of it, especially if you got a family, like think about that. That was a matinee. If if I'd taken me, say I went with my wife, she's into Top Gun for some reason too. Not to say girls may not be. And then you got a couple kids going along with you. Right there, you just drop forty four dollars for a matinee, and that's before anybody gets a drink or popcorn or candy or snack or whatever. You might drop a hundred bucks there if everybody's going all in. Or you can get Paramount Plus for $10 or Netflix or Disney or whatever, 
wherever you can find the entertainment app that you're into, you could just do that and, um, yeah, save a lot of money, but then you lose the experience. So, you know, you get the pros and cons of everything. Uh, by being that we're into this segment, like this kind of, uh, came up a lot earlier than what we typically go into things I watch. It's usually towards the end. I guess I'll just talk about the other things I watched this week that I've really loved. And the thing that I love more than anything is, well, both of these actually, Stranger Things season four is finally out after, I think, three years of waiting. I think season three came out in 2019. The kids are like 75 years old right now. I'm pretty sure Will had a walker in the one scene. Uh, They're in their retirement home now. No, it's not quite that bad, but they've aged quite a bit since the beginning. But this season is it's incredible. Like it's amazing. If you have Netflix, do yourself a favor and watch through all of the stranger things episodes, uh, from season one all the way to now and just like binge it because it's incredible. I love the story. I love like the, the eighties vibe to me. That was like the ultimate times like eighties just had like, I don't know. I just want to be alive in the eighties. I was, I guess, but I didn't get to truly enjoy it because I was just real little, but like the, the, like the birth of video games and arcades and like malls and the movies were amazing. This, the, the music was even better. Like, I feel like I'm like, I just want to be in the eighties and this really takes you back to that. And it's just so darn good. Speaking of good though, also really good this week. And like the last few weeks that we've been watching it, Kenobi, on Disney Plus. It's the story of Obi-Wan. And to me, this is like peak Star Wars. This is, I think, the best Star Wars since the original three movies that came out. Like, this is just so amazing. It really goes to show you just how much, how bad Boba Fett was the last um, series they did. And even Mandalorian a little bit, even though Grogu was in there and won everyone's hearts over. This Obi-Wan series, three episodes in, three weeks, two weeks, three episodes, incredible. So if you have Disney+, Plus, which if you don't, it's the best value in entertainment, in my opinion, anywhere, you should get it and give it a watch and thank me later, especially if you're a Star Wars person. If you know, like, if you know the story, I, you really should know, like, the first six Star Wars movies to really appreciate this, I feel like, especially, like, episode three and four. If you know those two, you could probably get away with it, but you want to know more than that. Uh, it's it's so darn good. So that was the, the things I watched and all the things that I love, just, like, killing it with the amazing viewing pleasure this week. Uh, We jumped off the episode with that. So let's now go into uh, Beyond Friday. Let's go into last weekend, which was Memorial Day weekend. If you guys don't know what that is, if you're not from the United States, it's it's a long weekend where we celebrate the people that have served in the military and uh, the people that have lost their lives, specifically Memorial Day. Uh, We have that Monday off, and oftentimes people get together over the weekend and they have like uh, some festivities. Cookouts are pretty common. It's like the kickoff to summer, if you will. And we did that, but before we we did that, we went and had a yard sale. You guys see us always going to yard sales. This week, though, we actually hosted one, which was kind of a bust. It was kind of rainy that Friday. We didn't even bother going. That was the day I went to see Top Gun. And then Saturday, it was still pretty rainy in the morning. And because of the rain, my mother and father-in-law had their yard sale in a carport that was further back off the road than what they typically have it where they have like a tent set up outside there weren't that many customers it was kind of a bust but my father ended up finding me some lego he actually went out the day before kind of counterproductive going to yard sales and you're having one but he found me this this three dollar box of lego that i had the luxury and the the pleasure of going through and i made a video on that on my lego channel if you'd like to see it but that was really fun like kind of having that experience and making a video we did go out kind of looking around for ourselves but i didn't find anything other than just a few thomas trains uh, for clark man and i got a hot dog Uh, but it was a good morning and uh you know, all the stuff that didn't sell, it's actually leaving today. I have it for the American Rescue Workers. We're just donating it. And they do home pickups for free. So we just brought it all back with us in the truck, the stuff that didn't sell. And it's sitting in the driveway right now waiting for them to come get it and hopefully uh, be able to sell it to somebody that could use the stuff. It's just like toys and things, books, and um, maybe make a little bit of money in the process for them. So that was that was Saturday. Sunday, we worked on the fire pit area out there. I had, I already put 30 bags of my white chipped marble down and I had 50 more bags waiting to go out. So Cody and I did that only to realize that we still needed more. (laughs) So, uh, that kind of went on a, a temporary hold, at least for the time being. And then on Monday, 
which was just an awesome day. We ended up going up to camp and it became like an RC day. I had this 3S battery that I bought for my Arma Sentin that is like, I thought would make it like a lot faster and it did. The problem is the voltage in that battery was too high for what the Arma could handle and it pretty much killed it within, I would say probably like seven minutes. But the good news is we had a backup plan and that was to go floating down the creek. We had all, all these, they had all these tubes up there that you can sit in. So my brother-in-law Casey drove us up to like a spot way up the creek and we all put tubes in, including Clark, man, we had ours tied together. And then it was Kyle Landon and their buddy Jackson. And we all floated down the creek for about an hour and a half. And it was just this really fun adventure. I really wish I would have been able to film it. Like as I was driving up there, or as we were riding up, I was like, oh, I should have brought my GoPro because this would be so perfect to document this. I didn't have it with me. So we just went on and enjoyed it. But uh, I should have like had a head strap on or a chest strap and I could have had all this awesome footage and really narrowed that down to just like the best and funniest moments. Cause there were some specifically when we went under this bridge, there was this like kind of like a little drop off thing and Landon went over and it popped his tube <laughs> and we were still pretty far from camp. So I ended up giving him Clark man's tube and Clark man got in my tube together. So we ended up going down, but it was a lot of just like, uh, you know, sailing down, there was there were some rapids, which were really fun. Clark loved that. Uh, there were some shallow spots. It's like you're, you're getting your butt off of rocks and stuff. There's a couple of spots we had to like kind of get up and walk a little bit. But overall, it was an awesome time. And it's like one of those memories that I think I'll, I'll have for a long time of enjoying the time with my nephews because they're, you know, obviously getting older and older. And those moments become more and more rare. So I just want to like cherish these. And that's why I wish I could have recorded it because that's – if you guys – didn't realize you probably never realized that I like to like document a lot of stuff and then have that as memories and also share it with you. Cause you guys would have loved it too. Even if it was just like the hour and a half, just raw video, that would have been a cool upload. Like you could have went with us on this journey. It would have been so cool. Alas, things we don't record and just exist in our minds, but that's okay. That's, um, I was in the moment and I enjoyed it. We had a lot of great food up there at camp that evening after we got back. It was like the ultimate spread of like my favorite things. It like kind of killed my diet, at least for that day, because Cody made like my two favorite things that she makes, which is her pasta salad. And I had a hearty helping of that. She also made her chocolate chip cookies, which are the best chocolate chip cookies I've ever had in my life. Deb made my favorite thing that she makes, which is sloppy Joe's or uh, I guess hamburger barbecue. Maybe some people call it that. There was also um, macaroni salad. There was a chicken that, that Casey had smoked on the grill. There was hamburgers, hot dogs, chips, sodas. There was like two other desserts. I had everything. I had like two or three of everything. And like, oh, I, I felt guilty because I'm trying to get into my bikini bod for the beach that's coming up. But uh, it was worth it. It was totally worth, worth going all in. It was It was a celebration just a fantastic day shot an RC video up there. Um, yeah, I, I had great memories of it. So that was, that was the weekend and it was great. Once the week started, we kind of went back to the school grind on Tuesday. That day I ended up, um, picking Clark man up from school with Cody, uh, took her truck and we went out to Lowe's to get another 20 bags of stone for the fire pit. We went out for dinner that night. I got a salad to kind of offset what I had done the day before. I really didn't want to though. We went to this place called Johnson's cafe and they have their foods. Amazing. They had this special going on where it was like this, like ribs, with their homemade barbecue sauce. And then they had like jalapeno macaroni and cheese and broccoli salad was their special. And it was $20 for like all that. And I was like, oh my God, I want that. I ended up getting a uh, a chicken salad. It was a chicken fajita salad. So it had chicken and then like peppers and onions and this ranch avocado dressing. It was really good, but I'm a little sad that I didn't get the special because uh, it would have been amazing. But I'm, I'm trying to count calories or cut calories, not counting. And it, it's working for the most part. You just got to avoid those days like I had the day before. So I made up for that. And then I even made up for it more when we got to Lowe's because I, I loaded 20 bags of stone into the truck, brought it home, unloaded it. We got the fire pit all done. I plan to make a video on it, but I didn't want to just be like, hey, we finished our fire pit. I want the video to be like, hey, here's us having our first little cookout here at the fire pit. We got all the furniture in there and stuff. It's... It's awesome. So I'm, I'm excited to have that. If you guys want to see me start the fire pit, uh, I did a video on that where it was just kind of like my little journey and such things. 
The next day was an awesome day after the fire pit finale. I was still in the zone to kind of like keep the the calories getting burned off. And my father-in-law was going to the dump to throw away some things. So I said, hey, why don't I come help you out? Save your back a little bit. I love throwing stuff in the dump because you like can just be reckless and smash things and throw them into this big thing, like a big dumpster. So I I went there and did that. And I also shot a video that you guys are going to love, but I went on a bicycle adventure on the rail trail using my electric bike that I bought last year. And that was really great. I did have a little bit of a setback. I won't spoil everything for you guys, but like there, there was a journey that happened with it and it was just an awesome day. Like the weather was wonderful. It was pretty warm out, uh, but it was nice going on a bike ride and the electric bike is so cool. It has these options where you can either like go full on throttle, like a motorcycle where you don't have to pedal at all, or you can do the pedal assist which is what I was doing where you can set it to different levels, but every time you pedal, it gives you a little bit of a boost. And it's pretty wild how easy it is. Like I just was like going right up hills, no problem. Uh, it gets a little, uh, I, I guess it kind of spoils you a little bit though. Cause as you're, you're riding, you're like, Oh, I don't really need to pedal. And you're like, Zzzz. and I was, I mean, I did a speed test and got it up to about 20 miles an hour, but I was, my goal was to actually get out there and pedal and, and, you know, get some, get some activity in. Cause I think that's important, but I did learn a, a lot about the bike that day and some things that I want to add on. So I came home that night and I, I bought some accessories for the bike, including like a, a rear rack that I can put a bag on. I bought the bag as well. So I can keep some stuff in there if I want to, including a water bottle. Cause with this, the battery is like kind of on the, it's inside the frame of the bike. So I can't put like a water bottle where you traditionally would put a water bottle. So I thought, Ooh, I'll get a little, little rack to put on the back and then I'll have a bag. And if I want to put some other stuff in there, if I go somewhere and pick something up, I can put that there. I got a light for the front and a rear tail light. I got a new, um, rack to put it on my car. I have a, I put a hitch on my vehicle just for these moments and to avoid using the old, um, rack that we had that goes on like your back window and you like clip it into like the, where the, ha- the hatch is on your vehicle. It just, it sucks. So I got this one that you just kind of set the bike into has a spot for like both the wheels. And then this little like a uh, hook thing comes down on top of it and holds it in. So I got all that. There was something else that I got for the bike too. I- I'm going to make a video, I guess, of my haul probably, but I spent like $200 on all of this stuff. And that includes the the rack though. The rack was like half that, but I got, I got the lights and I got the bag and I got the rack and I got something else. I guess it'll be a surprise to all of us. It's coming in like two or three different days from Amazon. I order everything on there, which I love to do. If there's only thing that'll hype up more than Paramount Plus, I suppose it's Amazon because I love shopping on there to find, you know, various products. And then my main thing is I look at reviews. There's not a single thing that I buy on Amazon without scouring the reviews and seeing what people are saying. And then I check the prices and I compare that to other ones and I see how many were sold. And it's just like, I really get analytical when I buy things. So when I do buy something, it's very intentional. I don't just go on there like, and I'm just like, yeah, let me, let me grab one of these, one of these. Now it's like, this is exactly what I need. This is the stuff that I need. Oh, also my bike. I had this um, very comfy seat that I put onto it as well. I already had that. And I was like, oh, I should put this on here. And oh, very nice. So, oh, I know what the other thing is now. It just came to me, a thing to hold my cell phone. Cause I had it kind of like in my pocket and I would like get it out to film, which I don't think I would do again. I haven't looked back at the footage, but I think the audio is probably going to be jacked. So I'm going to take a GoPro with me next time I go out on a bicycling adventure that, to bring you guys along. And then the phone just kind of goes in this little clip that goes on the handlebar. And then you can put a map up on there. You could have your podcast going. It's, it's a wonderful thing. So I got like all of those various things for my bike and I'll, again, I'll make a video kind of setting them all up. I oftentimes debate like what to film and what not to film. Like, is anyone going to enjoy this? But I, I have reason to believe, and I've, I've heard this from people that like, they're just interested in anything I get into. And maybe there'll be somebody out there. It's like, I need that for my bike. So I'll have that and I'll have links and all the fun stuff too. So stay tuned for that. Some of the stuff I think is going to start arriving today. So I should have it this weekend. And next week we'll go out on a, a lovely little little biking trip. In addition to that, uh, speaking of Amazon and buying things, uh, I told you we had some issues at camp with the RC truck and I went on to YouTube and I, I found a video of how to like fix it, I think. Uh, so I bought a part for that. And then I started thinking about my Traxxas truck that we rode into the ocean in ocean city, Maryland. If you didn't see that video, it's, it's pretty hilarious. Um, I had this awesome idea. Well, 
initially awesome where I was going to take my Traxxas stampede down into the, to the beach and drive it around. And it was great. I found out that I really loved riding it down by the ocean because that's where the sand is compacted and you could go the fastest. So I'm jetting this thing along where like the, the waves are kind of coming up a little bit. And then all of a sudden there's this little girl in my way. And instead of zigging up towards the beach, I zagged down into the water and my truck just got destroyed by a wave and it hasn't worked since there was smoke coming off of it like bad things just as a spoiler alert ocean salt water does not do well with electronics i don't recommend it if you're wondering uh so i was like you know what i bet i can fix that thing too i watched a video and i ordered parts initially i went to amazon and uh the the motor and the esc that i needed we're going to be like 80 bucks. And I was like, Oh, that's a lot of money to put into a $180 truck when I could just get a brand new one with all new parts that haven't been submerged in the ocean. But I was like, let me just go to eBay and look around. And I ended up getting those same parts for about 50 bucks. And I thought, you know what, this is going to be a fun little thing for me to do. I love tinkering and I love fixing. Uh, and I think I can do this. So I ended up getting those parts that came in the mail last night. We got them. And I was like, I got to do this right away. So I did. And when you know it, you haven't seen the video yet because we're, we're time traveling. I got the truck working. And it's like as good as new. And I was just so darn proud of myself. It's like, I love those little moments when you're, you're not super confident that you can do something, something you've never done before. And then you do it and you're like, yes, I can do it. I fixed things. I made fire. You know, it's one of those feelings. So I got that fixed and now I'm like on an RC rampage. You might find that this channel for at least for a little bit turns into an RC channel. And I know some of you guys, not, maybe not the ones that are listening to this, but there's a lot of kids that are just like, where's the RC videos? Well, they're here. I actually did a repair video that um, Clark messed up my Wendigo, my Red Cat Wendigo, and I did a repair video on that. It didn't go off very well, but people still watched it and hopefully enjoyed it. And I showed somebody maybe in the future, just like me that goes for tutorials, how do you fix this thing that goes wrong? So did that fix, and I was pretty darn stoked about that. Uh, so RC stuff, fixing them. Uh, there's one that I... I'm thinking about buying. It's it's like it's it's a much larger scale than the ones that I have now, but I'm like, ooh, that'd be cool. It's like six hundred dollars though, so I'm like, ooh, I don't know if my hobby is like to that level, but I want to do a lot of RC stuff this summer. I want to do. I might even take that truck that I fixed back to the beach. Maybe we won't do the the ocean thing the same. Oh, Outer Banks is way different from Maryland though. Like I could run that thing down the the ocean side and there's like no one down there. Maryland craziness. People are everywhere. Uh, even at nighttime, like that girl came out of nowhere. It's, I don't know that her parents were up on the beach a little bit. So she just came running down like, ah, eek. I also want to get back into drone flying. I've got a DJI spark, which is an older drone. And I want to get out and fly the thing around. I've gotten some cool drone shots. In fact, even on my computer, I have like all the drone footage that I've shot. I might just make a little video. Maybe when we're gone on vacation, I'll try to cobble that together and make a little cool thing for you guys to watch while we're gone. But I want to do some more cool, sh cool stuff with that and get some neat shots and stuff. And I, I guess my main thing is I just need to, to realize like it might get lost. It might get destroyed. And if I lose it, it is what it is. Uh, I, I'll just have to get another one. And they've made much, there's much newer versions of the DJI, the DJI drones. And I think probably more expensive ones, but this was a black Friday purchase. Jeez, years and years ago. And I have not fully used it to its, to its potential yet. And I want to change that. So prepare for some cool drone shots. I know some people really eat that stuff up. I've done a little bit in videos before and people are like, oh my God, that was so cool. And I'm like, yeah, it is. It, it, watching drone stuff is really cool. If I could have did a drone shot of us floating down the creek mixed in with GoPro footage, it would have been like, oh man, I'm like so sad I don't have it. But it would have been so cool to see the tubes floating down as the drone's flying over or just have the drone stationary and the tubes are floating under it. Oh would have been so glorious, but you know, you, you, you can't dwell in the past. You just got to be prepared in the future. Remember this, take your GoPro with you everywhere you go. The bad thing is about the GoPro is I would have to take some batteries too, because the battery life in that thing sucks so bad that if I would have had that filming for an hour and a half, I probably would went through two or three batteries. So it would have been a whole thing. And uh, when you're floating in a tube, you don't really have the opportunity to take too much stuff with you. Like it's basically like yourself and your kid who's tied to the tube beside you. But, um, yeah, that's, that was my week and it, it was a lot of fun. I also have some other stuff that I ordered this past week coming. I have two surprises for Clark that I think he's going to love. Uh, I guess I'll tell you about here. Um, 
and then we'll talk more about it next week because we'll probably have them. I ordered the Lego Optimus Prime Transformer. I didn't even tell him that it was coming out, uh, but I ordered it, and I want to get his reaction when we when we open it. I, I, I have a feeling like I told him, I was like, oh, I got you Lego surprise. And he started guessing things and he actually guessed what it was. So I, I didn't like react, but I'm hoping that it is a surprise. I also found this really great deal on a uh, Ms. Pac-Man countercade, which is like a arcade one-up unit. That's like an arcade machine with like a light up marquee and stuff. And it has like eight games on it or something like that but it, it can sit on a table or you can attach it to a wall or whatever. And um, I was playing Pac-Man on my Switch and Clark and I were kind of going back and forth. And then Cody mentioned how much she loved playing Pac-Man on the Sega Genesis with her friend when she was a kid. And I'm like, oh, this would be fun for us. And especially if it has high scores, because then we can get in there and try to compete with each other. So that's like a couple things that are on the uh, to be ordered or I guess to be delivered list. Uh, just really having a lot of fun with, with all these things. It's been, I guess, an expensive week, uh, but I'm getting like stuff repaired. I'm having a lot of fun with my hobbies. I'm sharing those the best that I can. And I just think it's a win all around. So yeah, that was, that was pretty much my week. I know it's a little bit of a shorter episode of listener feedback. Wasn't much, a lot of compliments on the podcast, which I really appreciate. I, I thank you guys for all the kind words and stuff. And then mobile comments, uh, the, the ones that kind of stood out to me were the ones about the possum. That was like the thing that everyone latched onto. I would say this episode, it'll be the, it'll probably be Kenobi and Stranger Things will be the things that people comment the most about because it, it was at the top of the episode. And like, it seems like movie stuff is a lot of things that people can relate to. Whereas me talking about my time at, at camp or whatever, I, I guess there isn't much to say about that other than like, oh, I also had a, a great weekend or whatever the case is. Uh, but as far as the possum is concerned, everyone said is I should get a live trap, which I should probably do. What I have been doing is just making sure the eggs are out of the coop. The coop is closed and I put Mellow Cat's cat food up. And I feel like after a bit of time, he'll probably just stop coming around. That being said, when we go on vacation, that stuff's all going to be out there. So if I do something, I got to do it before then. And uh, maybe a live trapping of the possum video would be would be something you guys would enjoy. Imagine I go out there, it's going to be this possum in a cage. He came in there the night before. I'm going to put him in my car. We're going to go drive in somewhere. And then I'm going to set him free to his new home. That sounds like a fun video. So you'll have to stay tuned for that. Uh, this episode is effectively over, though. A little bit of a shorter one. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me as I detailed my week. I hope you have a glorious week. This week, this happens to be Clark Mann's last week of school. We've got Monday, Tuesday. Half a day Wednesday, we're going to go out for lunch to celebrate. And then uh, then it's summertime, and there isn't much better than that. So thank you for watching, listening, whatever you did. If you'd like to comment on anything that I commented on, or if you would like to uh, discuss anything that I didn't discuss in this episode, feel free to leave it as a comment. I hope you have a glorious week, and we'll find you or see you or listen to you in the next Greg's World podcast.